And we're live. Uh, welcome to the summer review, our August and September review for the Common Stack. Uh, and the good news, the Common Stack is on optimism. So uh, we are we got a great grant from the Optimism Collective. Uh, thank you so much uh, to everyone there for supporting our, our grant proposal to move Aragon to optimism and eventually the augmented bonding curve. We're Tam talk about that process, but we hit a huge milestone, which is that you can actually now easily spin up a DAO on optimism uh, with the old Aragon template. It's the best way to create a token and like have like multiple people govern a token. It's super simple. You can go multi-sig style or token way to voting style. It's a really easy UI and just a, a great tool for the optimism space. So if you want to play, like go uh, go to optimism.aragon.blossom.software. Uh, and and uh, soon it'll also be on the Aragon client and you can start launching tokens on optimism like there's no tomorrow. And uh, because of this progress, uh, there is a push, uh, major praise to Tam for putting this out there. Uh, there's a push to get uh, token engineering commons to migrate to optimism. So that's really exciting. Definitely consider if you're interested in TEC, uh, like giving your two cents on this forum post, it is in the advice process uh, uh, process. <laughs> uh, and I'll pass it over to Ivy to talk more about the Optimism Grant. Thanks, uh, Brief. Let me just share my screen quickly. Um, yeah, so uh, speaking of uh, the Aragon project and optimism, so if you want to keep track of uh, where we are at, um, so we've been sharing our uh, milestones on this charm, uh, Charmverse proposal. And uh, so in August, uh, we've, uh, with the help of uh, Blossom Labs, uh, we completed the uh, first milestone, which is the deployment of uh, smart contracts for Aragon OS and, uh, and the subgraphs um, uh, on, on optimism. And um, since then, um, about 20 DAOs have been formed using the available templates. And we've, uh, which is part of the second, uh, second milestone. And um, we've also completed the, uh, uh, the, the development of tile voting uh, framework on top of the Aragon, Aragon OS. So I'll be posting more details about uh, that our second milestone uh, tomorrow. And um, uh, meanwhile, Tam can talk more about what's coming up uh, next for, uh, for this project. Passing to you, Sam. Cool. Thanks for that, Ivy. And I just want to um, make one note about the migration of the token engineering commons to optimism. I want to praise um, Sam a lot for this. Uh, he and I worked on this for a very long time to understand all of the technical details that would need to happen in order for, and all the decisions that the TEC community would have to make in order to do this migration. So I would really encourage people to read it. And uh, if you have a uh, opinion, please please share it because it's uh, not complete yet. Uh, cool. So the Optimism Grant uh, covers a uh, easy way to launch an augmented bonding curve on the Optimism chain, and we're calling it the ABC Launchpad. Uh, really, there's two products, and we're building an MVP of both of these. One is an ABC Launchpad. Um, and one is an ABC swap. So uh, it is in development now, but I'm gonna share a sort of a sneak preview of the designs for it. Um, the launch pad is pretty easy. Um, you would either create a new DAO, an Aragon DAO and Optimism, or attach an augmented bonding curve to existing DAO. Very simple to do. This is gonna be the easiest it's ever been to, uh, to launch an augmented bonding curve. You would set the parameters uh, like the name of the DAO that you want, some of the voting parameters, um, the token symbol, and the initial the initial distribution of token holders. Of course, you would set the parameters for the bonding curve, the reserve ratio, um, and the reserve asset as well. And then you would simply click a button and launch an augmented bonding curve. So we're really excited to bring that to the Optimism uh, ecosystem. Uh, the ABC swap page is just going to be a very simple place for somebody to swap the reserve asset against the uh, the uh, the bonding curve token. And in the future, we have some really interesting plans for what an ABC swap can be, but our MVP is going to be just a swap against the reserve asset and the token. I won't give you any more sneak previews, but we'll save that for the next uh, for the next call. 
I also want to introduce the team that are working on it. Obviously, Common Stock works with a lot of different groups. We don't do this by ourselves. Um, Blossom Labs, you probably already know them. That was the design team led by SEM. Uh, they're now operating under uh, the name Tumeric Labs. So Sam is the lead dev. He's working with uh, Jordi. Um, um, primarily, those are the two people that are working with us on building these two products. And then the General Magic team working very closely with them. Rodri is the lead designer. And Marco, of course, is the UX designer and uh, overseeing the design work as well. Um, I think now I'm going to pass to Livia to talk about uh, the two cool things she did over the summer. Thank you, Tim. Yeah, I've been out and about uh, for the last month-ish, and I had the pleasure to go to the Crypto Commons Gathering, which are longtime friends of the Commons stack, Felix, that is the, one of the founders of CCG, wrote his uh, PhD uh, thesis on the common stack and it's available for a read just ask us if you want to know where to find it um, and there I gave a Ostrom workshop we talked a lot about commons challenges of commoning uh, what are some possible future commons um, many people talking from different perspectives of how to look at money financial systems um, the Ko-Fi movement was very present there, so collaborative finance and how can we use that to create better systems for our commons. And then a follow-up of that, which was perfect, um, a perfect segue was coming to the Funding the Commons residency. Um, Funding the Commons is a project initiated by Protocol Labs, and uh, there is this builder residency here in Berlin this month of September, where the focus is on infrastructure to public goods. So creating this infrastructure, um, both on research and building capacities. And in this residency, today is actually the last day, and we're going to have our demo uh, later. Um, I'm working on two projects, I'm collaborating with uh, the Freehouse, which is an access to community project here from the Moose community. That's the space we're staying. And um, we're looking into implementing a bonding curve to create a community currency here for the space. And also uh, research on unalienating systems and how we can create better practices that are not only capital based to sustain our commons and find meaning. And um, also in the token engineering world, uh, we're still on the writing process of the token engineering stakeholder study, which is very, very in the final stages. And you can sign up to receive the report firsthand. So you go to tstakeholderstudy.com and uh, you will receive in your email if you sign up. It should be coming up very soon. And also uh, Sean um, submitted a great proposal for the TEC to work on a four-month T data science fellowship where he will be focusing on um, the quadratic funding uh, data analysis of the TEC. How is the quadratic funding looking, especially the subject matter expertise signal boosting? That was a very uh, novel experiment of the TEC to introduce subject matter experts on um, boosting the, the quadratic funding donations um, on Gitcoin. And he'll also be looking at conviction voting and bonding curves as they're already doing the bonding curve research group that happens every Thursday, the meetings, and everyone is welcome to join. And I'll pass back to you, Griff. Thanks so much, Livia. Let's see if I can share the screen here. Ah. Yeah. So also during this time, we had a really successful uh, fundraise during Gitcoin. So a major praise to everyone who donated to us on Gitcoin. We really appreciate it. The, speaking of like analyzing Gitcoin uh, QF results, really interesting how many Sybils there are. Apparently, <clears throat> of the eligible uh, donors, about almost half of our donors were Sybils. Are you a Sybil? Are you 
are you civil attacking this YouTube video right now? Like, I don't, it's crazy how many civil attacks are happening on Gitcoin. Uh, but we still uh, got a good matching. I'm not even sure which one it is because one of their websites is down, but probably like 400 extra dollars on top of the $800 that we raised. So uh, thank you so much for everyone who contributed and supported us during that. We have another uh, fun fundraise happening soon or like opportunity to support the Common Stack with ENS Small Grants. It's not starting up yet because they're changing the way they're voting. Uh, in the past on small grants, if you had ENS tokens, your vote counted the same for every uh, every project that you supported. But now uh, th on this round, they're going to change it so that you have to divide up your your uh, voting power uh, to the projects in in like whatever way you want. So uh, they're still working on that. So when that is done, though, I'm sure they'll announce it on Twitter and you can support us. And yeah, and then I'm not sure who I'm supposed to pass it to to, to close this out. Is it is it you, Tam? Uh, Ivy's up next. Ivy, yeah, okay. I have some updates from uh, Tracy Seed. All right, so yeah, um, we're happy to share that uh, Region Score is uh, now live. Uh, Tracy Seed has been working on this project for the uh, for the past two months together with our uh, region alliances from um uh, from general magic omni analytics super modular and um yeah so now you can uh, go to this website and uh, track your uh, on chain region of behavior so when you go to this website you just connect your wallet on optimism then you go to your profile you will see your score and then you can mint it and then below you can also see uh all your uh, all your uh, region uh, your wallet's region behaviors and you can see how um they impact uh, your score so minting um your region score uh, will cost a minimum uh, transaction fee of uh, $1 and um yeah but uh just to mention also that region score is still in beta phase so if you notice some um bugs or if you have um suggestions you can uh, send us a uh, a message on twitter or uh, submit issues on uh, on github and another news from Trust Seed, uh, we have also introduced the uh, uh, matchmaking program. So um, this program is open to um, job seekers or volunteers looking for um, uh, Web3 opportunities. And uh, this also this program is also open to um, uh, to projects and rec recruiters who are looking for uh, talents and uh, contributors. So um, it's free to sign up. So head over, uh, you can go to our website and uh, just fill out this form. And uh, we're also currently exploring um, ways how to integrate uh, region score into this uh, program. So we'll share updates um, once uh, there's more development on uh, on that project. That's it. And uh, oh, that was really cool. It's the first time I'm seeing that actually. I, it's nice to see. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who should I pass cool. it to? Uh, I'll take it. So I'm going to do yeah. just uh, two more brief ecosystem news, and it is about the TEC. Let's just find out where my share is here. So um, the forum is getting, the TEC forum is getting some more life to it. Uh, in the interest of transparency, the coordination team is making a lot of effort to post more frequently to the forum. Uh, and I'm just gonna cover three posts. The first one is um, the uh, bear from the coordination team um, put together a impact tracker report that'll happen at the end of each quarter, at the end of each uh, fu funding round for the coordination team. So um, they talk about all of the highlights of what they were able to achieve during that quarter. I think it's a really actually a, a great uh, a great report. Uh, in this last one for April to August, uh, Bear highlights the Gitcoin Quadratic found, uh, funding round and um, integrating um, uh, subject matter expertise into boosts for quadratic funding. Uh, they also talked to, uh, posted their operating budget, which is really just the roadmap for this quarter. Uh, the things that will be focused on in the TEC by the coordination team this quarter. So it, of course, continuation of uh, grants round three, uh, you know, grants rounding. Um, a series on token engineering is public goods some thinking around an incubation program to be able to support projects and research that need more funding than they can receive from the uh, from the grant rounds. Um, 
redoing a TEC sort of narrative. Uh, Gideon is going to be away for uh, as one of the core coordination team members. He's away um, in Japan for a month, really off the grid. But when he comes back, he's going to uh, work on writing, like communicating about the TEC. Um, if you're familiar with the medium of the TEC, uh, Gideon has written most of the last posts. And then fiduciary stewardship in, in the of the commons pool. Uh, and lastly, so the the uh, coordination team have been working with like a, an ad hoc group of advisors, uh, Griff, myself, and Livia from this call, um, but also Bear and Gideon and Sean. Um, and we've been uh, operating as a advisory team. And um, I'd like to introduce that this is going to be more of a formalized advisory network. So this first group is going to be a sort of TCAN, Token Engineering Commons Advisory Network Strategy Team. Uh, and we're expecting to also have other kinds of advisory groups as well. The most notable that we would need is Token Engineering, but you could imagine a reputation advisory group or an AI advisory group. So it's um, it's the, the purpose of this is really to, to be able to bring in a lot of exterior knowledge, skills, expertise into the TEC, and also to sort of have outward facing uh, touch points with other projects and people in the ecosystem. And I'll pass to, Gre uh, to Griff now. Thank you. And I, you know, we have just so many things happening in the ecosystem. Like I have some updates too. I'm going to throw, throw <laughs> a bunch of uh, related common stack updates in. Praise is exploding these days over on Optimism and Developer DAO. And like you gotta, it, it's, it's actually just like, I would say two days ago on Optimism, it started to hit a threshold where like, I don't know anybody who's praising anymore. And it's just like, actually it got a mind of its own. So that's really great to see over at the Optimism side. Uh, there's like a lot of organic uh, organic uh, praise happening. And Developer DAO is actually going to start uh, releasing tokens for people who are praising in their ecosystem. So uh, the full quantification and everything. So that's really good to see because from this point, mostly praise has been used in our ecosystem, but it's great to see it start to reach out of, of uh, the Give of the Galaxy. And uh, and also alongside of that, uh, one of the things that's really making Praise Explorer and Optimism is the, the potential that you can actually use your praise to become a citizen. And so the praise community, the praise team, mostly Christopher, uh, made this website where you can actually explore the attestations that you get from praise, regen score, uh, your Gitcoin passport score, and uh, and a few other uh, things. So the cool little attestation explorer coming out. And so if you want to become an Optimism citizen, uh, don't be afraid to get into the Optimism Discord and start dishing praise and uh, and try to do things to receive praise. Also, uh, retro PGF is is get it. Uh, there's a really cool voting system that that uh, General Magic is building for retro PGF called Pairwise, and uh, we the the goal of Pairwise is really to break down large complex decisions into simple digestible decisions. So. Uh, instead of last quarter where I was a badge holder and now this quarter where Tam is a badge holder, uh, last quarter we had to look at all 195 projects and kind of give them each a percentage. And it was really difficult. But uh, with Pairwise, instead you can just kind of say, okay, which which project is better, this one or that one, right? Okay, this uh, definitely education uh, two, you know, education three is better than two. Okay, and then you get a ranking. Uh, we're still playing with it. Obviously, that's a really small one with just three, and we expect there to be more like uh, more like more like 40, but it's a really fun voting game that is being released. So definitely check that out for Retro PGF. And uh, probably the biggest one is that uh, Giveth is running a QF round on Optimism. So if you have a public goods project, definitely consider signing up for Giveth, creating a project, and adding an Optimism address. When you add an Optimism address, you get 25 OP just for free, just for signing up. So that's super cool. Um, you have to be a verified project. So after you create your project, also go through the verification process. 
And if you, but if you're providing a public good, you'll pass the verification process, no problem. And then you'll qualify for our QF round where we're putting up at least $25,000. I'm still looking for more sponsors for the round. So if you know anyone who wants to put their icon up, these are the icons, the people who sponsored the last round. Uh, and uh, if you want to get your icon up there so that you can get donated to, uh, so that all the donors can see uh, that you are a major supporter of public goods, definitely reach out to me. And I believe that is it. That That is our uh, updates for two months. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you again ne probably next month. Bye, everyone.